All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna give an update on what's going on with Terrence Crawford's next fight, which looks like it is going to be against Alexis Rocha of Golden Boy Promotions. Oscar De La Hoya speaks about that and a potential purse bid to take place within the next couple weeks. Also says some things about the Errol Spence Jr. fight, so let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 147 pound division where uh, Terrence Bud Crawford is the WBO champion, and it looks like he's getting closer and closer to having his next opponent named, and that looks like it is going to be Alexis Rocha of Golden Boy Promotions, who was ordered to fight Terrence Crawford for his WBO title by the WBO. Oscar De La Hoya is sharing some details about that and a couple and reading between the lines, some interesting stuff, man, where it looks like, you know, man, I certainly hope Terrence Crawford's got an ace up his sleeve for the move that Oscar De La Hoya may, may very, very uh, well make. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And also, if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much. And again, like I said, every video that I'm doing today is going out to my guy, John Bowie. Thank you so much for your support in the channel and definitely want to say get well soon uh, from, you know, the accident that you had. Hope you get up out of Texas and get back to your home state soon. Sorry that you had to go through all of that, um, but you're in our prayers. Also, thank you to everybody else that supports the channel uh, in the super thanks of videos like this. Really does make a big di difference in supporting the channel and keeping the channel going on. But let's get into this conversation because we stay focused on the 147 pound division and what's going on there. Would love to see a unification or undisputed fight, excuse me, in the welterweight division, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna take place because uh, Oscar De La Hoya just gave an interview or, or uh, to Boxing Center. Actually, he was quoted, you know, for an interview he gave in an article that was posted on Boxing Scene. The title of the article is that De La Hoya, I'm telling Crawford, let me help you make the Errol Spence Jr. fight happen. But really within the body of it, it talks and shout out to Keith Eidick, who wrote the article. Most definitely go check out his article, read it on Boxing Scene. Very well written piece. Um, he says um, in talking about Oscar Day, talking to Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya says, we respect each other. That's referring to Oscar De La Hoya and Terrence Crawford. Uh, you know, we're exploring our options, opportunities. You know, he does have a mandatory fight against one of our guys. Uh, but look, I'm telling Crawford, let me represent you. Let me uh, help you make the Errol Spence Jr. fight happen. You know, we have this experience in Al, Al, and Al, and how Al Heyman works. We have experience with, the P, with how PBC works. And we work hand in hand. As you can see, making this Davis Garcia fight uh, was not easy, but we made it happen. So now if we can open that door and have that dialogue and make Crawford versus Spence ha happen, Boxing fans will watch the best fights possible, you know, in the near future. Now, that part right there in the near future <laughs> is a hang up to me. Now, he goes on to say, uh, we do have a purse bid coming up in the next few weeks. So if we can come up with a formula, some kind of uh, if we can come out with an agreement, then the fight's going to happen relatively soon. These guys want to fight each other really bad. So I can see this fight taking place in the next uh, three months. And then asked if he was if they were going to get it done before the deadline for the purse bid, which is March 19th. He answers, well, it depends on Terrence Crawford, what he's asking for. It depends on what Rocha will cost. 
uh, and we'll and we'll take it from there. Right. Uh, so what do we get from that? The fight with Alexa Rocha is going to be next. Now, here's the interesting thing, though, because he says he's asked, will this fight go to purse bid? And he said, well, it depends on what Terrence Crawford is asking for. So what does that tell you? He's talking to Terrence Crawford and really trying to get a multi-fight deal with Terrence Crawford. That's the way that I take it, right? Because he's saying, look, I'm telling him, let me get you this Errol Spence Jr. fight. He also says, if we can come up with a formula, we've got a purse bid coming up on March 19th or March, yeah, March 19th. If we can come up with a formula that will work, then we'll be able to get this fight done. And then he continues and goes and says, you know, it depends on how much Terrence Crawford is asking for. So they're still negotiating with it and looking to get it done. But Oscar has already said in a previous interview, what he wants to do is he wants to get a multi-fight deal with Terrence Crawford done, one where he can fight um, Alexis Rocha. After that, he wants to have him fight Virgil Ortiz. And then after that, they can make a fight between he and Errol Spence, right? Now, this is the tricky part for Terrence Crawford. If Terrence Crawford does not want to fight, do a, agree to a formula that would include multiple fights, right? Because he, uh, Oscar De La Hoya may feel, okay, well, look, if we do a three fight deal, I can get you X for Alexis Rocha, X, you know, Y for um, uh, Virgil Ortiz, and then come up with some formula where we can afford to pay you a good amount of money for the Alexis Rocha fight, who he would be favored to bit, to, 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 to beat, right? And then say, okay, we're good with that. But we're good with that because we got a multi-fight deal. Now, if he doesn't come up with a formula that is a multi-fight deal where Oscar De La Hoya feels like he can make his money over three fights, then you're dealing on a fight by fight basis and you go to purse bid for Alexis Rocha. Now, the risk for that for Terrence Crawford is if he goes to a purse bid with Alexis Rocha, who's going to bid on that pay-per-view or who's uh, not, it may not be pay-per-view, who is going to bid on that fight? It's the only two people that I think will bid for that fight are Golden Boy Promotions and uh, and a promoter associated with BOK Prime. Now, seeing as BOK Prime, the network has money, but the network itself is not a promoter. I don't know what promoter they would get to actually put the money down and buy the and the promoter that is going to win that bid, right? Because some people could say, well, BOK Prime will buy, buy it. Will be has the money to do it. And I don't doubt that they do have it. However, purse bids are for promoters. They're not for networks. So who is going to outbid Golden Boy? And if Golden Boy wins the wins the bid, right? Or, uh, you know, what is the what is the bid going to be? Right. Is it going to be four million dollars? Is it going to be three million dollars, two million dollars? I know the purse it, it's a minimum of two hundred thousand for the purse bid. Right. Um, but and I doubt that they would get 200,000 because I think what they would probably do is say, OK, how much do you need? Do we need to play Alexis Rocha and say Alexis Rocha would take the fight for five hundred thousand? Well, what is five hundred? What is five hundred thousand times three? Right. That's one point five million because the right at a two million, that's a seventy five. That's a seventy five uh, twenty five split. Right. Where you get two million dollars in uh, two million dollars. And then you divide what is, yeah, that's a, that's 500,000, right? Half of it is a million, right? So that would make twice that, yeah, make it $2 million where uh, Alexis Rocha gets his one, his 500,000 and Terrence Crawford gets his uh, $1,500,000 purse. Now, if Terrence Crawford doesn't want to do that, what's Terrence Crawford going to do? Terrence Crawford's going to have to drop the belt if he doesn't want to fight for that, which would mean that uh, Oscar De La Hoya wins in that regard because he'll now have Alexis Rocha fight somebody else for the WBO belt, right? And then that's in hand. He can wind up potentially getting a unification fight between 
uh, Virgil Ortiz, if Virgil Ortiz is able to beat Stan Ionis and, and maybe, you know, gets elevated to the WBA Super Championship, but, or he just goes and has Virgil Ortiz fight Ale- uh, Alexis Rocha for the, for the WBO, right? And he would dry, wind up dropping the WBA regular championship. But so it's a really funny kind of situation, man, where, you know, there's real leverage on, on uh for Oscar De La Hoya to get a multi-fight deal out of him. But anyway, that's my take and and it would look like the fight would maybe aim in the fight for June. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.